Hey guys, this is Sky, and I found something for you on Mars. I was looking through some NASA rover photos, and I came across something with some unusual artifacts, some faces, some structure pieces, uh, something looked like a bottle, something looked like a boot. Want to get your input on this? And uh, I colorized it so you can see what I see. I colorized it, and you can see it uh, colorized and circled and normal so that if there's any question about what we saw you can uh, see it for yourself and analyze it and see what you see now let's go back to this original with color now I want this to be colored so it stands out and you can see it really well now what I colored here is two faces uh, yellow and a pink I was gonna do green but green doesn't stand out very well you can see it has two eyes a long nose but this one I notice also has a big kind of hat back here now without the hat it's gonna look like this now I, I assume it's a couple uh, maybe male female who knows honestly uh, but it looks like a couple and this would be the smaller, less powerful one. This one more powerful because the hat that looks like a crown. You know how the archbishops and, and things like that in churches and, and even ancient Egypt have these huge hats or crown-like things on them in the sculptures. Same thing here. Same thing here. Uh, so let's look at the one with a hat. Kind of awesome. Kind of cool. And near it, near it are some other artifacts. Now, over here is the boot I was talking to you about. It has a broken heel on it, and that's the only reason I highlighted it. It does have a, a upper heel, and it looks like the heel has been broken off. And I thought, well, that might be significant enough to uh, highlight that. Over here, there was two more artifacts I thought was kind of extraordinary. A uh, little face over here, uh, very primitive. And this huge area that's been cut and smoothed down. You know, in the 1920s, how 1930s, how they smoothed the edges of a mirror down. So it's not just square, but it's uh, had this edged, almost beveled kind of edge. What, kind, what do you call that kind of edge? And I thought that was kind of extraordinary. Also, if you cut this right here in half, you got half of an alien's face, eye, and mouth here. thought that was kind of cool uh, right here. Didn't highlight it. Didn't bother. I thought these things over here were kind of cool, too. Uh, some ancient artifacts here. And uh, you can see a face on the far left over here. Kind of cool. Very primitive. But I wonder, because it's so primitive, it looks like it might be fossilized. I mean, just the other day, I was walking along yesterday, uh, the river with my son and wife, and my son picked up a hand-sized piece of fossilized uh, wood, and it's so cool. You can see the bark on it. You see the grains, and I said, save it. Give it to your science teacher. So he's going to give that to his science teacher. It's just amazing detail. Most petrified wood has low detail. This looks like it's petrified, fossilized uh, a skull of some sort maybe not humanoid of course <laughs> i doubt it the humans just walked around over there but some kind of human-like person with a skull similar to ours in some ways uh some kind of bottle-like structure thing here and these two objects i can't zoom in on it anymore i'm sorry uh, but they look like um on, if you ever seen an egyptian carved boat this looks like the edge uh, end of one of the boats. It does definitely look like some kind of sculpture of some sort. Let me zoom out so you can get this in the full scope of what we're looking at. And I'm going to come up over and look at this. Now to me, to me, this object at the center of the screen looks like the old Roman helmets, you know, you put on your head, walk around, it looks kind of cool, comes down over the ear area and uh, our upper area is revealed around the eyes just kind of cool also in the very top part of the photo is this now i've seen this face before i've showed you this face before on different photos different areas not this one not this particular one okay this is the same face different location on mars maybe moon uh but i've this is Mars itself, but I found this face about three or four times. Uh, I can make a video just about that. It's kind of cool, kind of extraordinary. Let me zoom out, show you in the full scope of things again. Now I'm going to show you this 
and just have it normal. This is normal. Can you see the big face I just showed you right now? Um, hello, right now. Can you see the big face itself without being highlighted? Well, I hope you can. I'm going to zoom in and find the boot. Where is the boot? Give me the boot. Don't give me the boot. Okay, there's the boot. And if I zoom out, I could find the really, 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 really cool face. Really, really cool. Right in the middle is the two faces. Okay, the two faces. Now this is infrared, so it's really hard for the human eye to grasp these colors because actually infrared is not something uh, the human eye can see normally without technology helping. So we do have that to go for us. Now here is the small face over here, this bottle thing, and this weird carving right here and over here. Just two extraordinary things. Here it is, highlighted. Oh, I forgot to highlight this one. There's another face over here. Eye, eye, nose, mouth is, is kind of laying sideways and some kind of crown. Uh, sorry, I didn't hit that one. Um, here is the circled faces, but I realized a little bit later that it is has a crown on it. So I uh, went to that one. And um, here are these ones. So you can see those a little bit better. Some more, some more, and of course the big one. Okay, guys, tell me your thoughts about this. What's really going on here? Uh, is this just coincidence? Is this my imagination, pareidolia? Is this more than that we can even grasp right now? Scott C. Waring, like and subscribe.